Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Ark Eternal Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well. And uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta say guys, you know, my buddy TDC, my buddy TDC is one heck of a builder. I tell you, every day I log on here, there's something new for me to check out. And look at this. You know, I had so many problems in vanilla arc building. Look at what this guy has built in vanilla. In vanilla. No structures plus. No structures plus anywhere. This dude has built this in vanilla. That's right. So, yeah, this I'm not going to show off too much of this place. Uh, I want you guys to go over and check out his video. Because he is the real deal when it comes to building in this game. And uh, I want you to go see how it's done. He is uh, going to hook up with me. And I don't know if it's going to be tonight or or when, but he's going to he's going to show me something. And we're going to we're going to build some stuff and we're going to try to uh, set up a house for Darwin Timbers whenever it comes around. So today, what I want to work on is the wall. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be tearing down a, a good portion of this. Can I get that? Yeah, okay. So we're going to be taking down all of that all the way down to there, and I am going to be building up the wall once again. Um, oh, it looks like I have to shoot up high. Well, maybe it'll be easier if I... You know what? Let's actually just do a, a portion of this. Can I actually just stand here and just shoot? Uh, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like I have to... Oh, something sounded like it broke. All right, so we got that. We got a little portion of this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, foundations coming off this particular foundation. And I'm just going to go straight, as straight as I can go with it, all the way over. And then, well, yeah, that should work. That should work fine, actually. Uh, we'll come all the way across with it as far as we can. And then how I have a turn here... I'm actually going to continue it even straighter and we're going to start to turn right when we get about in line with these gates. So uh, I need to craft up a ton of foundations. Um, a lot of these walls can be reused. I know that much if I want to use that. But uh, like I said, a ton of foundations. How many do I have on this guy? Oh, you know what? I got 90. We can uh, we can go ahead and start here. We got wood ones as well, but you know I, I shouldn't need too many wood ones. But uh, let's see, do I want to go here uh, on the second one, or do I want to go on the third one? Uh, it, I, I think I want to go on the second one. So let's do that. And we're just going to continue to go across. Oh, actually, that's all wrong. All wrong. Pick it up. Okay. Uh, and we shouldn't run into too terribly, uh, too terrible of problems. We, uh, I think, yeah, right there, we're going to start to run into some height differences, but I'm going to just go ahead and fill all this in with uh, double foundations anyway. So I'm going to tear all these up, and we should be good to go. So let me go ahead and tear all these up, get my foundations laid the way that I want, and uh, I'll bring you guys back in uh, just a bit. All right, guys, so I've got a good portion of the foundations of the wall done. I'm going to run outside and show you real quick. Uh, let's come right outside here. So it, it looks tall, but it's only from this point here. It's only three uh, wall, uh, three structures high. So you got your foundation and then two walls, and then it's going to go up another one. But as you get down here, the land gradually starts to slope, and I need to put some foundations in there, but uh, the land does start to slope, and it gets to be pretty dang tall down here. So uh, I think when I get down to this corner, I think I'm going to have it kind of gradually go down. Uh, that way the wall uh, will appear to be three high all the way around, but I haven't worked out how I want to do that transition yet. Uh, what I want to do now and what I am working on is um, I really want to figure out uh, the logistics of how I want these uh, these to fit. Now, I saw TDC do something, and I'm not sure if this is a, a vanilla thing, but if you look, he's got these ceilings or, yeah, all this stuff on like a on a half lap almost all the way through there. And I, I love that. I think that is one of the coolest building things ever. And I am definitely going to be using that 
uh, in my worlds, but I can't seem to get it to work here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wonder if that is a part of Structure Plus that's not allowing that. Um, and I'm wondering if there's a way to fix that. Now, the idea that I have to fix that, let's see here. Uh, let's grab Lola Bell and grab some of her uh, stone pillars. Are these the small stone pillars? Yeah, small stone pillars. Okay, so we're going to try this. I have no idea if it's going to work, but let's see. Uh, come back over here. Oh, my gamma is awfully high, but um, yeah, let's see. Uh, right, um, right there and there. And then if I use this, can I get this to fit over that? Yes. Perfect. All right, put that away. Just like so. Okay. Oh, 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 that's not what I wanted. All right, pick up ceiling. Um, let's go inside here. Oh, and that works so well. That works so, so well. Now, what's going to be weird is uh, lining this up, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because look at this. I think, I think if I can run this all the way along here like so, this is actually going to look really good. Oh, wow. I just, oh, I just got goosebumps, guys. I just got goosebumps. I really did. I think this is going to look great. Uh, and then even like coming in here like so. And putting those in, and then we're going to do some other stuff as well. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill all this in, um, at least the top part here. And I'm going to go too thick. Uh, I'm going to go one here and then one on the back side. And then I'm going to fill in the walls, and uh, we'll be able to check out what I do. And I'll bring you guys back when I move on to the next little section. All right, guys. So there's a little bit of what I'm thinking. Uh, let me run outside here real quick. So I've got the pillars all the way down. Now, I really tried to get... Uh, the, um, oh, the ramps, the, either the ramps or the slope ceilings to kind of do that angle backward, kind of like that one. And I was going to run that all the way along here, but it's not quite working the way that I want it to. So I, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to figure out there. Um, and I don't think I can like finagle this in here to work. Now, I could probably figure out something, but and I know a lot of people are asking why I'm not building out of the Castle and Keeps mod. The Castle and Keeps mod is uh, it's kind of laggy when you get a bunch of stuff, so I, I didn't really want to do that too much. But So what I'm doing is I am putting in these pieces, and then I was thinking about putting in a pillar. Uh, I might not be able to do the pillar the way that I wanted to. Let's run upstairs here. Um, I wanted to throw a pillar in right there on the corner, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. But having that there, that, um, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot. I forgot walls. Let me grab some walls here real quick. I, I wanted to have some walls, some rails, some walls, some rails, some walls, some rails. Kind of, you know, alternating patterns a lot through here. Uh, I think that would look really good. Let's go ahead and drop those since I can't use them. Well, not drop them, but put them away and eat some food. But uh, yeah, I think I think this could turn out pretty darn well. Let's uh, let's run back up here, and then so we've got that there. Uh, let's do a regular wall. Let's do a wall like that. Let's do that, and then we'll do one of those. That. And just kind of, you know, continuing this pattern that I've got as far down as we can go. And that way you kind of got some uh, some stuff in the way of battlements or, oops, that's not right. Some stuff in the way of battlements and whatnot. And oh, that, uh, that went down there. It was not supposed to. All right, bust that. Uh, and then we'll do this one again. And then six. And then that. All right. So kind of you get the idea of what I'm trying to do there. Now, I'm also considering doing uh, a little bit maybe on this one where um, where we, we have it built up a little bit. So maybe maybe let's do this. Let's uh, come on the back side here just like so. And we'll bring those up and just kind of, you know, make it to so where it's easy to walk through. But uh, it's still, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, just like so. Got it. What? That's kind of weird that that's not connecting. 
Uh, I bet you it's on the, the wrong side of the wall here. Let's see. Oh, no. I'm not sure why that's not connecting the way that it should. Maybe this one's not right. Um, Let's see. Finagle that in there. There we go. Now it's connecting proper. Uh, and I'll have to adjust these too. Um, let me go ahead and take this one out. Yeah, just like that. All right, good, good, good. So we'll have this. They'll be able to fire out, do what they need to do. We have the, the wall and everything. Um, and then we'll go up just one more around here. Like so. And then I'm going to get some ceilings, which I don't think I have on me because I wasn't planning on doing this. But do some ceilings and then do just like a little guard tower type thing up there. Uh, I don't want it too tall because I really don't want it to be taller than the guard house. Um, I want there to be like small, higher level stuff, you know, kind of around here and there. But we can uh, we can go ahead and put on uh, some of these torches so that way we have some light in the area. I think that would look pretty good. Uh, and then as we're kind of going down the wall here, we can we can put some of these up too. So like that. Uh, number seven, we can do just like that as well. And I think giving some light to this area is really going to make it pop a lot more. You know, I, I, I love how TDC's places have a lot of light built into them. And I, I think I need to really fix that when it comes to mine. Uh, you know, I have a lot to work on as far as being as good a builder as old TDC is. But so just kind of do like that. Oh, wow. That actually looks really great. Um, and then we'll just do one above this guy. Okay. And then can I actually place these on this? No, it doesn't look like I can. So in here, we'll, uh, we'll come up probably right about there. And we'll flip right around the other way. Do one about there. And doesn't that make that look... That just really makes it pop, doesn't it? Really makes that that door just that much brighter, that much cooler. Why did that turn off? Oh, do they turn off during the day? Change settings. Uh oh, enable on off. Oh, so they they automatically turn it on and off. That's actually really cool. Okay, cool. All right. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I am cool with that. Uh, I'm gonna put one here. And I'm going to put one here so those will light. And then I probably should do some upstairs too because the insides here are kind of dim and dull. So let's just come up here and right, right outside on this door, I'm going to put one. And then I'm going to put another one right out here on this door. And then another one right here in the middle, which is one, two, three. Yeah, it's this one here. Okay, cool. So we got that um, one out here would uh, would be good. One out here on this balcony as well. Actually, I'll probably do a couple of them out here on this balcony. Just uh, just kind of like so. And then next. Oh, you know what? If we go across, let's actually run across here. Uh, one, a couple of them in here. Now this is got to have them a little lower because you know you don't want them to catch the roof on fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. All right. Now down here at this at the wall, uh, let's go ahead and put. I know it's gonna finagle in here weird, but one just like that. So I uh, I think this is gonna look pretty good. I want to grab some more walls and stuff, and I'm gonna try and start to angle this side down. And I'll bring you back once I get a little bit more progress. All right, guys, I've got uh, a good chunk of the wall done. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm feeling a little iffy about it. I'm still trying to decide uh, my thoughts on everything and how how it really works. But uh, I think I think we got something going here, and it might be decent. Uh, I don't have any of the backside of the wall done. I wanted to get the front done first. So let's actually run outside. And when you first look at it, you're gonna be like, "What? What are you doing there, Drax?" But there it is. So we have we have pillars, and I thought about bringing these pillars all the way down uh, more, but I can't decide whether or not I would like that uh, more than like you know what's going on with it just up at the top. So maybe you guys can uh, 
can let me know. Why can't I snap my pillar to that? There it goes. There it goes. Just like that. Okay, good. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's what it looks like with the pillars there. But you've got these little ledges that people can come out and, like, shoot over if they need to. You've got these little opening holes for stuff. You've got cover over everything. And uh, I really just added in some details and different stuff as well. So let's uh, let's run up there real quick. And I have to crouch through that door now. But, yeah, you can see uh, just pillars. Um, that way it looks like it's really sturdy. You can uh, come out here and uh, you could even lay down and, and fire a shot if you need to and, and come back in. Uh, and even like when you're out here, you would be able to fire upon someone on the wall and stuff too if, if you wanted. Uh, so we've got that. Um, you know, they could shoot through these. The lights will turn on at night. I think that looks pretty good. I've got the guard tower here. Now, I'm not 100% sold on it. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you guys. These are the stone railings uh, from S+. Plus. You can switch them to half walls. I had no idea. I had no idea at all. And uh, I really like it. I dig it uh, as far as this is concerned. I, some of the those railings might not look bad, but I do like the way the half wall looks. I really do. I think it uh, fits in much better. And especially like up here on this, you know, that looks okay, but I think it does look way better as a half wall. So, and that is, uh, that is what's up here as well. These are all half walls. I switched them from the railings. So that is good. I haven't done a whole lot on this side yet. Cause I'm still trying to figure out how I want to transition it down, uh, into where it'll wrap back around the other side and everything. But I do think it's coming together well, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I am, I was going to put some torches up here, but I was kind of leaning towards, I didn't think they would have torches in the top of a tower like this because you wouldn't want to be able to see, you know, what uh, the people up here, but that might just be like my, my brain not working right or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it looks like we got the night coming here pretty soon. And, uh, and everything's looking pretty darn good, if I say so myself. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below as far as the wall is concerned. Um, I like it. I dig it. I think it's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun to have something like this all the way around. Let me know what you think of the pillars coming down if I need to do that all over the place. But I'm kind of torn because, you know, somebody could hide back here if they wanted to, if they were attacking the wall or something. But, you know, I, I'm still trying to figure all that out. But, uh... For now, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Drax. I'll see you next time.